Hi everyone, this is Mr. Richmond, and for this video I'm going to walk you through the FET Greenhouse Gas Simulation. Not everyone at home is going to be able to run the software, so I want to make sure that you have an opportunity to understand some key takeaways about the greenhouse effect phenomenon. So the first thing that you're going to notice while watching this video or running through the simulation is that you see these yellow dots making their way through the Earth's atmosphere. Those are represented as visible light or sunlight photons. And the frequency and wavelength or the type of energy that they travel with allows that visible light photon to go through the entire Earth's atmosphere. Then one of two things happens when that visible light photon comes into contact with our Earth's surface, either it be land or water that it's coming into contact with. A lot of that energy gets absorbed into the land. However, a lot of it also gets reflected back out into the Earth's atmosphere as infrared photons or heat energy and the frequency and wavelength at which that photon travels with does not always allow that photon to be able to escape the atmosphere. You can see some of them are escaping, but a lot of them are also being trapped in. And the greenhouse effect, in essence, is actually a good thing. It keeps our overall temperature at uh, a comfortable zone for a lot of animals to live and survive here on Earth. However, we also know that there's a strong correlation between human impact the amount of greenhouse gases that we are putting into our atmosphere, especially post-industrial revolution, and we're seeing a strong correlation between the greenhouse gas concentrations being increased, as well as global, global average temperature also increasing as a result. So, uh, one thing that you can change with the simulation is changing the time period. So I have the uh, setting as today. And you can change 1750, which would be pre-industrial revolution. And you can see how that might impact the overall temperature. You can change the ice age. So let's go back to today for a second. And I want you to observe the change in temperature when I am increasing the overall amount of greenhouse gas concentrations. So if you just let that settle for 20 to 30 seconds, we should see this overall temperature start to spike up a little bit. And unfortunately, that's what we're seeing in environmental science uh, today, which obviously has some detrimental impacts, which we talk about in class. So why do they call it the greenhouse effect? you got this little tab over here where you can add the amount of glass panes. The atmosphere acts as a glass pane. It acts as a greenhouse building. If you've ever seen a greenhouse before uh, on a farm or on a piece of land, growing vegetables or whatever it may be. So you've got a lot of these infrared photons being trapped in through these glass panes rather than in the Earth's atmosphere. Last thing that I want you to understand about infrared and visible light photons, visible light photons can go through pretty much any molecule, at least any greenhouse gas. We've discussed a few of these in class. We've got methane, CH4, we have carbon dioxide, CO2, water vapor, which is actually the most abundant greenhouse gas, and then we have nitrogen, and oxygen. Visible light is going to go through each one of these. However, because infrared photons travel at a different wavelength and frequency, we're going to start seeing some of these infrared photons are going to be trapped or absorbed, maybe even reflected by some of these molecules. Oxygen, that's not really the case. Oxygen does not do a very efficient job of trapping in heat. Nitrogen gas, same thing, goes right through. However, once we get to our main greenhouse gases, water vapor, you can see that start to change, start seeing these infrared photons being reflected every once in a while. And the same thing with carbon dioxide gas, CO2, and then finally for methane. So I hope that gives you a pretty good understanding about the greenhouse effect phenomenon, and good luck with all your future assignments.